Hello all, this is me Sandra KF. In this video, I will be reading aloud Hassan's Attendance Problem by Sudha Murthy. This is the book, How I Taught My Grandmother to Read in Other Stories. And this is the fourth chapter, page number 26. It might vary in your book because there are many versions of this book. So let's get started. For many years now, I have been teaching computer science to students studying for their masters in computer application at a college in Bangalore. I have interacted with many students. And though it is not possible to remember all of them now, the memories of some are itched in my mind. That is not because they were all brilliant, but, but rather because something in them was very different from others. In my first batch, there was a very bright boy called Hassan. He was tall, handsome, with a very good memory. He came from an affiliate family where he was the only son. Initially, I did not come to know of his existence at all, mainly because he was hardly ever present. I, I normally take the first class of the day, which is scheduled at 9 a.m. or the one after that at 10 a.m. I prefer this time as this is when students are fresh and very attentive. Once in a while, Hassan would turn up, particularly if there was a class test or during examinations. I met him more often in attendance short, shortage meetings. He would beg for attendance in such a manner that it was very difficult for me to say no. Sometimes I would get upset and tell him, No, I can't give you attendance. There should be discipline. Yes, madam, I would reply. He would reply apologetically. Pardon me, from the next semester onwards, I will definitely attend your classes. Can you not pardon me this time? To hear a human to forget divine. You have only thought of this. I could not remain angry for long. Teachers do get upset with students who are not regular. But if the attendance shortage affects their appearance in the final examination, then one tends to melt like snow against the sun. A good teacher will always, always wish for the best for her student. Though I do agree discipline is very important too. As he was very bright, Hassan would invariably get a first class in the exam. However, before exam started, every semester this drama with Hassan would be repeated. I would get upset, threatened, and ultimately given. Every time Asan would promise to improve his attendance record, and for one week, one and for one week would attend all classes, then the same old story would follow. Each time he had a different reason for his absences. Unfortunately, they always seemed genuine for me. Once I got tired of his stories and called his parents, your son is a boy boy. He is not arrogant, but he is indisciplined. If only he came to the class regularly and attended the lab, I am sure he could get a rank. I have, I have failed to convince him. I will be happy if you could look into the matter more seriously because this is going to affect his life i said to him hassan's father was a busy man and did not take my word very seriously he said as long as he does well that is fine with me 
because after a certain age children don't listen to their parents only life will teach them but his mother was in tears madam i have failed as a mother he does not listen to me whole he spends all night listening to music and chatting with his friends he sleeps at 6 in the morning how can he come to any class he does not pay any attention to what i say and tells me i repeat the same thing always the meeting ended in an argument between his parent between his parents his father said you are the mother it is your duty to correct him you spend more time with him i am so busy you have failed his mother said your father it is difficult to control the boys you can speak to him man to man earning money is not the only thing in life this continued for a while and the meeting ended fruitlessly hasan continued in his way till he passed out of this course as usual in first class he was a nice boy he came and thanked me madam thank you for teaching me for the last 3 years because of your kind heart i could get all my attendance i wish all teacher were like you in the college i laughed god willing we will never meet we will meet again sorry we will meet again but i did not meet hasan for a long time and forgot all about him years passed i thought many students some of them become very good human beings some become famous some become rich and some remain ordinary as for us as far as i concerned they were like me, my children some mem- remember me and send invitation to weddings naming ceremonies housewarming housewarming etc if i am in town i definitely try and attend because for me their immense love is my strength one morning my secretary told me a person waiting to sell the latest software in high school technology wanted to meet me i was extremely busy and the piles of unanswered unanswered letters were looking at me accusingly i had no time to talk to a sales person so i told her he can meet someone else i don't have time but my secretary said he was insisting he wanted to meet only me and that he was my student she knew how fond i was all of my student so she had been unable unable to say no to him in that case let him see me at 2 pm in the afternoon a man of about 35 35 plump with a bald bald head and moderately dressed was waiting for me in the office in his hand was the cd with the software i could not place him though he seemed familiar he smiled at me and said madam can you recognize me you may not because you how could you remember all your students from a window you can see the outside world but from the outside you cannot see all that is inside i like this analogy and was sure he was my student because i often use this phrase in my class till i could not guess who he was madam i was a perpetual late comer of your class that's when the coin dropped hi azan how are you it's been a long time since i last met you i was very happy to see him madam i am fine and remember many of your lessons is it a data management or c or pascal none of this of the madam i remember the moral lesson i didn't know what moral lessons i had taught though i do tell some stories during my lectures on computer software hasan what are you doing now now his face become little pale madam i am selling the software which is useful in teaching maths physics and chemistry it is it is of help of to both teachers and students 
I know your foundation helps a lot to an education at the high school level. I thought it may be of some interest to you. Hassan, what did you do for so many years? I know I knew all, all his classmates by this time were in very high positions in the software in industry. Hassan, being a bright student, should have definitely done well. Yet, on the contrary, he seems to be do, doing a small job of selling high school software door to door. Madam, you know I was very irregular in college. The same habit continued even after my graduation. I would get up late and I was very lazy. My mother would lose her temper and peace of mind. I did not bother. I took her for granted. After a lot of pressure from my parents, I took up a job, but I continued with the same habits of going late to office, not keeping appointments and not being responsible. I did not have the proper knowledge also. In college, I hardly studied. Getting a first class in the examination is not an index of the amount of knowledge one has. I would study just before the exams, guess the probable questions and skip the chapter. I always thought I could somehow make it later. But without proper knowledge, it is difficult to work. I always laughed at those or those people who were hard workers. I used to make fun of them and call them nerds. Today, those nerds have become millennials. Nobody liked me, liked me in my office because of my behavior. No employer would keep it such an employee and I lost whatever job I took up. In my first niche, in my first station, I started quarreling at office as well as at home. Finally, my father got so fed up, he told me to stay separately. He always gave me a lot of free freedom, but I never picked up any good habits. My state today is the result of my own habits. I felt sorry for Hazen, who with all his intelligence and good nature could not make it. Hazen, you knew, you knew your faults. You could have improved and made a better life for yourself. There's always a start at any age. Don't get disappointed. You have, you may have lost the battle, but you can still win the war. Madam, old habits die hard. But Hazen, it is possible to change your habits. There is nothing which is impossible. You only, you, you only require willpower. You are yourself not aware of your, all your potential. Please remember when elders say something they do so because they want you to lead a better life than them. Excellence does not come by accident, by practice, but by practice. I could see a twinkle in his eyes. I thought I saw a glimpse of the bright young Hassan. I will try my best, madam. I, he promised as he rose to leave. I have never met Hassan since that day. I hope to bump into him unexpectedly once again and this time find him happy and successful. And this is the end of the story. I hope you liked it. Please share, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. This is me Sandra K signing off.